just logged on to world 444, which is completely full here, and uh, forestry's out. New woodcutting mechanics are out. I need to read the blog to know exactly what's going on, but we're going to try out, I wouldn't say everything, but we're just going to get a nice gist, a nice vibe for the new woodcutting feel. Already getting stocked by uh, lumberjacks out here, so I'm going to go read the guide real quick, and then we'll head back to wherever I need to go for some future woodcutting. So it seems that the home for, oh my God. Yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely fake. Seems like the home for forestry is gonna be Draenor Village, which is kind of nostalgic. It's kind of beautiful. I do enjoy this being the home. It's, it's a beautiful home for forestry. You can talk to the friendly forester right near the bank, just kind of chilling. And he opens up this beautiful kit and we'll go ahead and buy a forestry kit. You can buy a bunch of other stuff. You get mulch, clover insignia. Uh, but some of these costs, though, you can't just buy with coins. You got to use anima-infused bark, logs. Uh, you get a bunch of stuff. There is so much, by the way. And I'm not going to cover every update. I'm just going to give you guys a rundown of how it's like to use forestry to your advantage with woodcutting. And just have some fun with it. I'm not going to unlock too much. Maybe do a couple mini games. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our forestry kit. There we go, it'll hold your things, hold your anima, your leprechaun charm, which is gives you a chance to bring a lepre leprechaun. Am I saying that or leprechaun? I feel like I'm not saying that right. Gives it a chance to bring that near you so it'll bank your logs. Uh, but all right, let's start woodcutting. If we woodcut a tree that has people around it, the tree will last longer. And also the people near the tree give me a plus one woodcutting boost, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and boost this. Uh, the boost does uh, max out to 10. So right now our wood cutting is um, pretty much 91, I would say. Pretty sick, dude. Oh, it's an event. They're doing the flower stuff, dude. I got some pollen, dude. Okay, you took the pollen from the bush, you'd apply it to a bush of unpollinated flowers. Okay, I, I can't see anything, but sure. <laughs> I am simply just brute forcing this for sure. And uh, yeah, it looks like I'm I'm doing stuff, which is good. And hopefully at the end of this, we'll get some anima because I want to create a leprechaun charm so I can bank my logs. And in doing that, I will need some of the new currency. Okay, so there's a pattern to it. Okay, I was I was clicking so, wait, is it doing again? Aw, oh, dude, there's a pattern and it switches up. Okay, I'm getting a little more now. I'm getting a little more now. Makes me happy, makes me happy. Oh, so this one. And then we find another one, because it is, it is awful. It's gotta be this one over here. All right, so then I go back to the original flower bed. Move your cannon, bro, and they're gone. Okay, well, at least I got the gist of it. And I think if we look at our anima-infused bark, we have nine. All of that worked for nine. Hey, I did another one. How much anima did I get that time? Come on, baby. Come on, but what, I didn't get 100? I was doing my best. How sweaty are these people, bro? You get like a hundred if you do well. I was doing so well. Who am I competing with out here? I was gonna head to the woodcutting guild, as one of my viewers told me to, but it looks like they will be removing events spawning inside the woodcutting guild. Seems to be that it was too, uh, too crazy in there and events were just everywhere. Switching over to another classic area, the yew trees. I heard this uh, event is popping over here. So hopefully we'll get something other than the B event because I'm not actually sure how to do others and I feel like a noob. Finally just got another random event. We are chopping roots. Seems you just chop a root. And uh, this one's the best one because it's just like woodcutting, but it's it's uh, it's easy. It's just easy. I don't got to click around. It's great. All right. I don't know what happens. We just keep chopping, but nice vibes. Oh, that was quick. I got... Um, Damn, I barely got anything again. What did I get? I'm at a... Holy dear lord, what happened there? I'm at 232 anima bark. Wasn't I at 40? All I did was chop a tree and even move around. Just really quickly want to shout out this backpack. While I'm waiting for another Roots event, then I can make uh, the first thing I want to make with the new anima bark. But look at this thing, bro. This is sick. It gives me like Pokemon Ruby vibes or whatever the new gen of Pokemon is. Shout out to everyone here. I'm just telling my friendly scaler, dude. They don't believe me so far. Oh, yo, Leprechaun Man. Here he is. So he just kind of pops up right here. So if he pops up, you can bank 
Look at this, it's perfect for body. That is crazy. They're gonna be mass number body just insta banking off the green dude. Either way though, I love it. It's so nice to have. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna make an amulet then. I was gonna make an amulet to increase that chance, but I think I have something else I, I wanna make. Yeah, look at that, you don't even need the amulet. Maybe it's just day one hype. Maybe it's just day one hype. Maybe it's not gonna be like that, but boom. Inventory bank, I don't even need a bank. Sadly, U logs are about 280 each though, so it's not like it's, I'm, I'm, I'm racking up bills here. So they're not all the same. Just, I guess everyone probably knows that, but just in case. So you gotta find the root with the best XP. The one I was chopping over here was giving me like two Anima Logs uh, and 40 XP, so that one's ass. That's ass root, ass root, all right. There we go, that's the juicer right there with the fiver. You go good sir, take my logs. All right, we got the last random here. Pops up three piles and then you click on the mulch. Three piles and then you click on the mulch. Oh, what's happening here? Sadly, nutrition 100%, nutrition pile 40, green leaves, green leaves, green leaves. Oh, sick. I don't, I don't think I got XP. I didn't. I think I really did not do that one super well. Did my anima go up at all? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, so it seems like I helped. Okay, I get it now. So you just gotta get, it's an order thing. So every time it's a different order, I'm a dummy. It's at 70%, oh 40%, and it changes I guess. So you gotta get the correct order of mulch. How fun, how thrilling. And then depending on your, so that's 50%. So I must've got something right there. Just, I, you can think about it too in your head if you wanna break this down. I choose not to. I'm just gonna keep clicking randomly. I do not care. Enjoy the logs. Okay, just did the pollen one, the strange pollen. I uh, felt like I really, really carried that, honestly. Uh, okay, I got like 30 anima. What's up, brother? Hey, yo, take the logs. I haven't needed the bank yet. I keep seeing people banking though and I'm so confused. How fast are they chopping these trees, dude? I, did, I don't even need to bank. I got 3,000 XP and I actually got the 100 Anima Bark reward finally for working my cheeks to the bone. We're halfway to the item I wanna get. Oh, it grew into a tree, nice. So that one, I was actually getting 100% accuracy. I figured it out. There's like five piles to pick from. You could just barely see them though. And I got 92 Anima, nice. Actually getting uh, some stuff from that and 20 piles of maple leaves. I had to, had to drop some logs this time, but hey, not that bad, he's right there, best day of my life. I'm your little green man, I was hoping you'd be here. All right, I only had to drop four logs that time, this is sick. Oh, that was fast. I don't think I'm gonna get anything, I got five from that one. <laughs> Dude, I must be eating right here, no way. I found the combo first. It was like uh, something, 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 it was like doubling around. what I get? There's no way, right? Oh my God, I'm almost at a thousand, bro. 969, one more event, and I can unlock the first thing from the shop feels good so all right finally we get to end it with our roots random this should easily get me to above a thousand which is i think what i need and i do have enough for the item i want and that guy likes butthole and that's great that's great we're not going to take that away from him uh let's see how many we got at the moment 1002 oh my lord get a couple more for sport and then we'll head on over to Draenor Village, where we can buy our item with our bark. It's not Draenor. I was testing you guys. There we go. And I think we actually need 200 U logs, which should be good. Honestly, a little stressed. I don't have 200. I do. Oh my god, that's so close. So 207 U logs in total should be perfect. A little too perfect. And we head on over to the friendly forester. And we're gonna buy ourselves a nice pair of lumberjack boots. Why do I need 100 maple logs? What do you mean? All right, never mind. <laughs> we will buy those later. My grand exchange slots are filled. That is incredibly awkward, but yeah, that is pretty much what forestry is. It's pretty sick. I enjoy it. I think if there was gonna be an extension on woodcutting, this is what it would look like. I do think the bots are gonna have a field day, but I don't even know how many bots woodcut anymore because it's still not good money. Even with all the upgrades, all the bells and whistles, you're still not making bank out here. You're just doing it for this sport, and I love it. So this is only part one as well. We'll come out with part two whenever it comes out, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.